Hello everyone, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Now let's talk about the house you're living in. Hallelujah, the house you're living in. May God bless this word. May God intervene right now. I pray, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the house that you're living in, in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of things, they do happen. There are a lot of things that happen and we take it lightly. You know, if you want to understand, the Bible is deeper. But then, the earlier you begin, and the, where, listen, you won't just get everything at once, right? But then in every situation, you know, day by day, every time when there's a, a situation, I try to look at the Bible. I'm like, you know what? In this matter, as much as I would, I, I'm free. I like it when sometimes I'm put in a corner and I look at the scriptures and I look at God. I was like, Lord, you see now I'm in the corner. How do you answer this? Every time I get a scripture that says, hey, you are being told about this, it, it makes me now to see that even if I wanted to blame God, at the end of the day, he was going to point me to that scripture. That, but I did tell you one, two, three. I did say you're going to encounter such. I did say if you encounter this, this is how you get out. You get what I'm saying? That is why at the end of the day, you will see that even in the Bible, they will be told don't go there. Don't touch this. Kill everything. God telling Saul, don't spare nothing. Though it looks innocent. So, you know, one times, you know what of the, the problem with most Christians is that it's questioning God. It's saying that God, you're almighty. You can just remove this thing. That's not how it works. If God tells you to kill, if God tells you to just throw away, not to wash it, though it can be washed, listen to him throwing away. You can, yes, you can wash, but God does not like it like that. That is why I tell you, even in your house, there are things that you need to just remove. If they don't need you to pray over that I cast out. No, yes, you can pray if there is nothing that you're seeing visibly that you can remove. But some things are not good. Some things you just have to bend them and throw them away. Check your house. I leave this here. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you want to book an appointment with me, my details are on the description of the video below. See you next time.